New York City. Rafi Gardet comes to see her therapist Lisa Metzger and tells her she has signed her divorce papers. She is distressed because she suddenly starts thinking she wants to have children. Lisa tells her she should try to live the present. Dave Bloomberg is at home when his friend Morris calls. He joins Morris as he goes to see a girl who has dumped him after their first date. Morris smears a cream pie on her face which is his usual approach. This time though, the girl calls her brothers out of the house, and Dave and Morris quickly escape in their car. Dave goes to see a movie with a girl. In front of the theater, he meets an acquaintance, Randall, who introduces him to his friends Catherine and Rafi. When Dave goes to the bathroom, he finds himself locked out of the theater along with Rafi and they exchange looks. Later, Dave is in his bedroom with a phone. He calls Rafi but hangs up. He calls again and finds the nerve to ask her out. There's noise in the background, he tells her it's his roommates, but it's actually his grandparents, who he lives with. Dave picks Rafi up at her apartment building. He finds the doorman could be more communicative. At the restaurant, he talks about the quirks of his Jewish family. They buy beer at an all-night store, and Dave has to show ID. Rafi asks Dave how old he is, he circles the subject, but they establish that she is 37 and he is 23. That's a bigger age difference than Rafi thought. Still, Dave convinces her to continue the date, and he takes her to a secret garden hidden behind a gate. Rafi is back with her therapist. In a flashback to the garden, Rafi and Dave chat and kiss. Later Dave talks to his mother on the phone. She is worried that he is dating a girl who isn't Jewish. Rafi talks to her friend Catherine about Dave. Dave goes to his family home, and we discover that his mother is Rafi's therapist. After dinner, they argue. Lisa believes faith to be central in a person's life and thinks it causes too many problems to marry outside her faith. Dave says she sounds like an after-school special. He also tells her that the woman he is dating is older than him. He says 27. Dave visits Rafi at her apartment. He unsuccessfully tries to make the doorman laugh. They talk about art, listen to jazz, and kiss. Dave and Morris go to a bakery to get Morris another cream pie, and Dave tells Morris about his feelings for Rafi. Dave's parents talk about getting Dave to date Jewish girls. Dave and Rafi go out again and end up sleeping together. Rafi goes to see Lisa again and talks excitedly about Dave. She yells out his actual age, admits that she embarrassed by the age difference. She also says he is an artist, though he is not very confident about it, and his family is unsupportive. We see a flashback of her and Dave talking about this. Lisa looks startled and asks where he lives. She realizes they are talking about her son and breaks off their session. Soon she's on the couch of another therapist, asking for advice on what to do. She decides to stay on as Rafi's therapist, not revealing anything. Dave takes Rafi out again, and they have a candlelight dinner. Another day she comes to see him play basketball and takes him home to bed. At Lisa's office, Rafi talks about how much love she and Dave make and how happy she is. They also touch on personal hygiene, and Rafi explains how Dave never used Q-tips before he met her. But Rafi also talks about her doubts about whether she and Dave can have a serious relationship. In another scene, Dave tells Rafi how his mother and family do not accept that Dave is dating a non-Jew. He remembers how he introduced a former girlfriend who was black to his grandmother, and how she reacted by whacking herself on the head with a frying pan. On the same day, Dave loses his job and has to find a new place to stay because his grandparents are swapping apartments with relatives. He sees Rafi at work at a fashion shoot, and offends her employer, but he is soon forgiven, and at night they go dancing. Rafi insists they go to Dave's place, she finds out he lives with his grandparents and laughs. She sees his paintings for the first time and tells him he should paint for a living. Dave drops off some stuff at his parents' place, saying he will stay with Morris for a while. When Rafi arrives for her appointment with Lisa at the office next door, Lisa narrowly keeps the two from meeting. Rafi tells her that Dave is moving in with her. That weekend the couple goes to the Hamptons to visit Rafi's friends. The group discusses politics and arts, but Dave feels excluded and feels like he's being tested. Randall expresses concern that Dave at his age might be unable to give her what she needs, especially regarding children. Dave and Rafi go to a gallery opening. She lets her contacts know about his art, but she doesn't introduce him to some of her friends. Dave still has no job and hangs around Rafi's apartment all day. One day Lisa goes into a furniture store with her husband, and they have to hide when she sees Dave and Rafi there. In their next consultation, Rafi tells Lisa about her problems with Dave, but Lisa interrupts her. She tells Rafi the truth, and Rafi is shocked and angry. She tells Dave, and Dave argues with his mother on the phone. Dave brings Morris to Rafi's apartment one day. Still, he hides him in a closet when Rafi comes home early because she doesn't like other people in the apartment. She finds out and blames Dave for acting like a child. Later at a restaurant, Rafi breaks up with Dave. One of Rafi's art connections comes to see Dave's pictures. He buys two and wants to set up a show. Dave also gets his own apartment. He is still down about Rafi, but Morris takes him out, and Dave brings a girl home with him, a model he previously met at Rafi's photo shoot. But soon after, he and Rafi meet in a grocery store and rush back to his place to make love. 
they rekindle their relationship, and Dave talks his mother into having them over for dinner with the whole family. Rafi and Lisa make friends again, and the family seems to relax about the idea of Rafi and Dave together and of Dave being a painter. Rafi mentions the possibility of having children with Dave. Later she learns of Dave's night with the model, heartbroken she confronts him. Dave talks to his mother, who tells him she understands his love for Rafi, but sometimes good things end. One night Dave goes to see Rafi, who comes home at the exact moment. The doorman makes sure they meet in the elevator, and Dave apologizes. Next, we see them in bed together. Dave says he wants to have a baby with her, and Rafi thinks she can't let that happen. One year later, Dave and Morris are walking down a street. Dave is talking about leaving and seeing the world, and he realizes he forgot his hat in a restaurant and returns for it. At the restaurant, he sees Rafi and her friends at a table. He turns away and goes outside, then wipes a circle in the frost-clad window. Rafi sees him, they look at each other and she smiles. We see flashbacks of their relationship. Then Dave raises his hand goodbye and walks away in the snow.